Yeah, what's up, y'all? This your boy, Spin Gang Sour. It's hot right now in Jacksonville, but it's about to get a little bit hotter. Y'all ready? Come on, let's spin the block. Tampa, Florida. One person was killed and three were hospitalized after a shooting in a hotel parking lot in Tampa. Tampa police are investigating the shooting that happened around 4.40 a.m. Sunday in the parking lot of the Holiday Inn Tampa North on East Fowler Avenue. Public Information Officer for Tampa Police, Joni e. Lewis, said at a news conference this morning that two cars were shot at, with a total of four people being shot. Rest in peace to that boy, Julio Fulio, man. Bro got killed on his 26th birthday. It's crazy. 26th birthday, you leaving. Get ambushed. Sound like a backdoor situation to me. I ain't even gonna cap. In case you don't know, Jacksonville and Tampa Bay, that's a three-hour drive, man. It take a lot of hatred for you to go kill somebody three hours away on their birthday. Prove a point. You know, Julio had a lot of issues, man. They was on his top a couple times. No diddy. It's just crazy, man. It's a sad world we live in. I just show you that, you know, you can't get rich off death. Because sooner or later, you're going to have to pay the price. Three hours away. That's a hell of a drive for a homie. So you know around his way, it's going, it's going to be a little crazy. If you out there, out that area, man, I suggest you just stay low. Stay out the way. Don't get caught up in nothing. You ain't got no business getting caught up in, you know? Rest in peace to that boy Julio Fulio, though, on his 26th birthday. That's crazy, man. Them all your folks at the birthday party. So who gave the drop over you? Now, I do got his last few lives on here, too, so y'all can see, you know, he was promoting the party, having a good time. He was lit, man. It's a shame, bro, I go out like this, you know what I mean? It's a lesson. Let it be a lesson, man. Anybody can get touched. There's always a bigger shark out there. Let's, you know, let's see what bro had to say, man. Rest in peace, Julio Fulio. Start the day at five six o'clock. If you already got the address, pull up, man. We got the address, pull up. If you need the address, DM me right now. The pool party start at five six o'clock. DM me for the address. A DM Fulio booking ESPN. I'm gonna put it right here. We just got here, bro. You got to add it. You got to add it, man. Push up. We just got to this bit. Tampa, Florida, man. You already got to add it to the pool party. Push up at 530, man. Push up at 530, man. We finna get that thing right. Push up at 530, 6 o'clock, man. It's up. Got me drinking, cuz. I don't need drink, cuz. Hold on. <laughs> you supposed to have a chaser. Mm -mm. <laughs> Appreciate everybody popping out for my birthday, you know what I'm saying? Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Everybody got their shot, put their shot in the air, man. Okay, David. Everybody take this shit on three, man. One, two, three. Mm. Happy birthday! Got my brother with me, he done popped out for me for my birthday. He done tired of it, it's double lit. Oh, God, yeah. We came deep and fuck for my birthday, man. We know at this point, around 4.40 this morning, we received a 911 call about a shooting that happened here in the parking lot behind me on McKinley and Fowler. What we have learned, and again, this is all very early in the investigation, is that two cars were shot at. Four people were shot in total as a result of this. Three of them were transported to hospitals and one was pronounced deceased here on the scene. So we are working to learn what led up to the shooting, 
motive. You can see behind me, a lot of officers are here. They are talking with witnesses. They are looking for video as it pertains to the shooting. Uh, as far as the people that are at local hospitals, we are working to get an update on their condition. It seems like they will survive their injuries, but again, that's very early in the investigation. Uh, those are really the details that I have at this point as we're unfolding and getting updates. I'll take a couple of questions for what I can't say. Judy, were these guests at the hotel, do you know, that were staying here with some kind of beef or rivalry? Is that at this point, it's part of the investigation, but it seems that they might have been coming here to the hotel to get a room. And can you say anything about um, the, the, the guests that were staying in the hotel? Did they have to be evacuated or they were like, were they told to stay in place after after the incident this morning? Part of the investigation, I don't think so because of what time it happened. At this point, you know, guests are waking up and we're updating them and we are assisting them with anything that they need assistance with at this time. But it didn't happen inside the hotel. It was uh, in the parking lot. And so do you know how many suspects there were? How many people had guns? Part of the investigation, we're hoping to be able to figure that part out as well as get a description of the suspects so that we can get that information out to you. But I can tell you that there are cameras here and our officers are working to view all of the cameras and talk with people, you know, who might have seen anything or heard anything. And I think that's the biggest thing at this point. You know, we always say it, but in cases like this, it really does make the difference. If you saw something, if you heard something, any little detail can help us figure out what happened here this morning.